Alright, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple vertical sleeve antenna using just coax, some brass tubing like you see here. This is available at hobby stores or Ace Hardware or True Value. Now ideally the coax that you're going to use should be 50 ohm, but if you only have 75 ohm like I have here with this cable wire, that should also work pretty good. It won't be as good as the 50 ohm, but it will still work. Now how this antenna is made, you're going to take the half wavelength of the frequency that you're looking to make an antenna for, and that measurement will result in feet. So if it comes up with 0.5, then you know the half wavelength is 6 inches. Once you have that half wavelength measurement, you're going to divide that by 2, and then take your brass tubing and cut it to that measurement which is half of what you had so this would be three inches and then you would leave three inches sticking out you're going to want to make sure your coax has copper shielding because you're going to have to take that shielding and fold it back onto the tubing and solder it make sure when this is mounted that the clamp does not touch this metal tube you don't want this touching ground on the other end you could possibly in that measurement for the three inches on this piece put a little loop included in that three inches that you can solder it and you can maybe put some monofilament or a piece of rope to hold this vertically while it has the clamp on the bottom. Dinosaurus Rex visiting hours. Wow, this thing is really aggressive. Starving. Get away from my frequency counter. What are you eating? It's my tubing. Look how fat that thing is. This is what I have to put up with when I'm working in the garage. This big fat lizard coming over here. Has to have his food. Chicken. Come on. In the middle of my project here. Here he comes, coming in for the kill. Oh boy. Wow, look at that chicken go down. Look at that chicken go down. What a slob. What a slob. That's a little dry. Eat some gravy with that chicken. <laughs> And there he goes, running off. I jump onto my scooter. Uh, he's happy for a while. All right, back to the job here now. Now this one here, I'm going to be using as a rubber ducky antenna. I'm going to cut this off and use a special BNC connector, which goes to coax. Once I place the BNC connector onto the coax, I will then slide some heat shrink tubing over the entire antenna, shrink it down, it'll make a nice rubber ducky type of an antenna at a fraction of the cost, maybe $3 for that antenna. Now I have used this type of an antenna before for replacing broken or damaged antennas, and it does work extremely well. If you have an SWR meter, what you can do is leave this longer than it's supposed to be, and then you can fine tune the antenna by trimming this to the right length as you go. Now if you don't have an SWR meter, you can follow what I did here. Just do half and half. Make sure it's soldered right, make sure nothing is touching, and it should work fine. But if you're looking for total perfection and a very well-tuned antenna, then ideally you would use an SWR meter. It's a good antenna. It's very simple to make. Just take some coax, get yourself some brass or copper tubing that fits over the coax, and you're good to go. All right, this is what it looks like with the heat shrink tubing applied to it after it's all been soldered together. It's now ready for the BNC connector on this end right here. Once that connector's on, I can then use it on my frequency counter. 
If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you.